wireless tattoo power supplies. I decided to give it a chance and I ordered an Amazon wireless power supply, $30. The wireless power supply that we are talking about is gonna be this one right here. I got this on Amazon for 30 bucks. I wanted to give it a try. I wanted to see if these were gonna be worth it or not. At this price point, is it junk? Or is it actually something I could use? I've been using this for a few months now. And before I tell you how I feel about it, I wanna go through some specs and talk about it, okay? The name of this power supply, I'm gonna read straight off because it's it's ridiculous. This is the Tattoo Power Supply Professional Mini Wireless Tattoo Power Tattoo Battery Supply with connection for tattoo pen, rotary tattoo machine, permanent makeup equipment, RCA. There'll be a link in the description. You can click on that and go to it if you wanna check it out. And I have no affiliation with them. I just tell you what I think. So with that being said, let's go through the operating procedures for this. Turn it on, turn it off, voltage up, voltage down. Okay, so first off, if you wanna turn the machine on, you're just gonna hold down the power button. And there you go. First, it's gonna come on and tell you your battery life. Currently, it's at 100% battery life. I charged it for the video. Let's go all the way down to 4.2 volts and all the way up to 12 volts, which is a pretty decent range. I think they're covering a lot of their bases here. As you click this, it's taking you down by increments of 0.3. So all the way down to 4.2 volts, can't go any lower than that. And then 0.3 all the way on up. 12 volts. If I keep it the out turned off, then it's just gonna sit here, assumingly on your machine at 7.5 volts, not running. When you're ready to run it, just tap it and your machine will turn on. You're ready to pause, tap it again, your machine will turn off. The battery pack is still running. It's just paused for you. If you hold the button down, you turn it off. So you might be thinking, with this hanging off the back of your machine, it's gonna make it heavier, it's gonna be awkward or whatnot. So let's get a quick weight on this and see how much it actually does weigh. So in ounces, 2.09 ounces. It's not really that heavy, guys. It's not really that heavy. Let's put it on a machine and get a full weight. Now, this is just gonna be a rotary pen style tattoo machine. So um, if you're running something different, the weight might be different. This is just a general idea so you get an understanding of how much it might weigh when it's all put together. So with this machine, this battery pack, I'm sitting at 6.5 ounces. I can tell you right now, it does not feel heavy. When you are using this machine, it does not feel heavy. And at 6.5 ounces, it's really not that heavy. It's pretty comfortable. One other thing I'd like to say is that this power supply comes with two different types of connections. You can get RCA connection or a DC connection. And what that's referring to is this portion right here, the connection where it goes into your machine. They need to match quite obviously. So make sure that your machine matches before you purchase one. A side note, this is a Cheyenne Hawk pen. It does not come with an RCA jack, okay? It comes with a 3.5 millimeter jack. I got tired of Cheyenne being special and having their own jack, so I went and converted mine to an RCA. If you wanna see that, it'll be coming up in a future video where I explain how you can convert your Cheyenne pen to take an RCA connection. Now that I've gone through all the mumbo jumbo there, let's turn it on and get a feel for it. So I'm gonna hold the button down. It immediately is gonna come on on full power and then it calms down. Okay, it goes to the set voltage that you had it at. This was set at 7.5 volts, so it came down 7.5 volts. At first, it's gonna ramp up and then come down. So, sitting at 7.5 volts, it's running. If I wanna pause it, I just tap that power button, pause. It's still sitting at 7.5 volts, it's just paused. If you wanna turn that up, you can do that. Up, 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 let's go 9.3, turn it on, it's running and you can crank that down up however you want. With this stuff coming from China, it's understandable to question, is this a true reading? Is 7.5, 8 volts, any voltage it's reading, is that a true voltage? Is that what's actually coming out of the wireless power supply? Is the voltage that it reads what's going into your machine? So let's check that out. I'm gonna hook up a multimeter to it and we're gonna see if and how close it is to the actual reading on the display. Okay, I'm gonna set the power to 
DC voltage, okay? The outer portion here is our negative, the inner is our positive. With it at 7.5 volts here, let's check what it reads over here. Now we do have to hit the button so it's giving us the power out, there we go. And then we'll come over here and check it. It is reading 7.53 volts. That's not bad. That's that's pretty accurate. Now let's crank it up. Let's go all the way up to its highest capacity, 12 volts. See if it can actually output 12 volts. 11.95 volts. So as you can see, it's pretty accurate. It says that it has a runtime of two to three hours, but that does depend on whether you're running at like 4.2 volts, 12 volts, you're gonna have difference. So that's more of a, a an average, okay? I ran this for four hours and it still had, I think 15, 20% life left in it. So it really does depend on what voltage you're running. With the charge time at about one hour. Again, that's gonna depend on how dead your battery is or whatnot but nonetheless about an hour is your charge time to avoid stopping mid tattoo to charge your battery which is ludicrous you buy two at thirty dollars a piece you're in uh, total investment 60 bucks and you have two wireless power supplies that are pretty accurate what do i think of this power supply for the money on these 30 bucks a piece 60 dollars. i think it was amazon prime delivered in two days you really can't beat it um, I originally got these because I just wanted to test them out, see if they were worth the hype. Um, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money in case I just was like, no, they're not for me. So at 30 bucks a piece, $60 total. I'm really digging these guys. Um, let me know what you think, whether you like them or don't like them. With this particular kind, I, I really do like it. The tattooing is consistent. I don't feel like my voltage is fluctuating, like not getting what it says it's getting or that it's slowing down, speeding up. None of that mumbo jumbo. As of right now, these are working flawlessly. And mind you, it's only been a couple of months. I'll let you know if something happens down the road and these <laughs> up, I'll let you know. But as of now, they're running strong. I'm enjoying them. I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next. You know, what, what does the future hold for wireless tattooing? I've seen a lot of new, almost gimmicky things coming out and I'm just gonna hold back and wait and see what happens because I would like to see a really good brand come out with something like this and really stand behind their product. Uh, but at 30 bucks a piece, if one shits the bed, I'll probably just buy another one for 30 bucks because I really enjoy that freedom of not being attached to my power. It's exhilarating. So again, let me know in the comments what you guys think of these. Have you used them? Is this the kind you use? Do you have a preference? Let me know because I'm kind of digging these. I might check it out if you got something different and maybe we'll do a quick little review on that. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the like button. It helps me out. Subscribe to see more videos and ring the bell if you really care. Until next time, guys, 